Hey everybody, it's your boy. Bad news, because I got bad news. I learned today that as of last summer, you can't fill out a change of address form without the name matching the name on your ID, which means trans people who have not gone through a legal name change process, knowing how tedious and expensive that is, cannot fill out a uh, change of address form which means that they can't just get all of their mail forward to them now they have to go through the process of checking in with everyone to get their mail to their new address this went into effect because of scammers something with mailing scams i don't know what or why what's up with that but i'm sure it's just hurting trans people that can't afford a name change more than it's hurting scammers so another thing that I was told at the post office is that uh, the delivery person isn't allowed to deliver mail without to a apartment without there being a label on the mailbox and you have to be on the lease now, of course, my most rational question is how the fuck does the United States Postal Service know people's leasing information? And the reasonable answer to that, the pragmatic answer to that, the actual answer to that is that they fucking don't. They just know what is labeled on the mailbox. But this new rule has now empowered mail delivery people to basically pick and choose who does and doesn't get their mail. So, my own personal example here, I had a kafia delivered here, and the kafia got returned. And from the company that I ordered from, it said it write, they write Free Palestine on their packages. And today, there was a different male person in this area, and when I asked him if he delivered on my block, he said, no, he's only delivering on that block. But then... After I asked him that, he went around the other side, then checked some uh, documents or, or his device or whatever, then went around the other side to my block, was gone for a good bit, and then came back around. And I observed all this while I was waiting on the bus. I go to the post office, I learn this new information that basically damages trans people that can't afford a name change. And I come back, and my other mail has been delivered to this address without an issue. So, just so you know, the mail people can now pick and choose what mail you get. So the main guy who delivers to this block is basically a Zionist. And now I have an, another test subject here to prove that I can get my mail at this address without contention however another issue that rises is that and people have probably already known this when you fill out a change of address form online you have to pay for it to verify that it's your name that you're using and they do that instead of using your ID and it's a dollar ten cents and now, because of this new regulation, you also have to sign up with a phone number. What does the phone number do? I don't fucking know. But, uh, yeah, there is just basically a bunch of stipulations. So, like, if you're a person, usually unhoused people, without a phone, you can't change your address online. And you can't do it online anyway if you're also unbanked, which is also usually unhoused people or uh, immigrants. And now you can't change your shit online or in person if the name on your ID or on your bank accounts, if you do it online, doesn't match the name that you want to change your address to. So I don't, I don't know how much of the population trans people represents. I don't know how much of the population poor trans people that can't afford a name change represents. 
but we have a lot of fucking undoing to do. Because every time they change something with the post office, it ends up hurting an already marginalized group of people. And we saw that with how after 9-11, or the ter- terrorist attack, they said, George Bush put in the Patriot Act that you can't have a, a, a bank account with a P.O. box because allegedly the terrorists used a P.O. box for a bank account. But it ended up hurting way more unhoused Americans than it will ever hurt any new terrorists on the block. So yeah, we we definitely need to figure this out. Because this ends up hurting more marginalized people than it does hurting scammers and terrorists. So that's the video.